Welcome to another new video of interesting math problem on our channel Math Solutions for You. Please do like, share, comment and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. In this problem, we are given a figure and some of the angles are marked up within the figure. You can see the angles that are marked as A, B, C, D and E and then there is one other angle which is marked and a specific value for that angle is indicated and this value is 135 degrees. And we are asked to find the sum of the angles A, B, C, D and E. Now this problem with all the corners and all the shapes involved within may look complex. So there's a pentagon in the middle that you can see, and then there are five triangles on the outside. So there's a lot going on here, but actually there is a very, very easy solution to this problem. Provided you know and apply a theorem that basically states that the sum of exterior angles of any convex polygon will be equal to 360 degrees. And by convex polygon, I mean that none of the interior angles exceed 180 degrees. So we don't have a reflex angle situation in any of those interior angles of the polygon. And this is true for any convex polygon. No matter what the number of sides is, it may be 5 or 6 or 7 or 8, the sum of the exterior angles of the polygon should be always equal to 360 degrees as long as the polygon itself is a convex polygon. Now, if you look at this figure, in the middle, we basically have a five-sided convex polygon. It's a pentagon, right? And one of the first things that we can do is mark up what the exterior angles of this pentagon are. So, one of those exterior angles is marked by that green P, and similarly, we can mark the other exterior angles. So, an exterior angle of a polygon is basically the supplement of the interior angle, right? So, in this case, the exterior angles are P, Q, R, S, T. So, we have five exterior angles corresponding to each of the five interior angles angles of that pentagon in the middle. And going by this theorem, the sum of P, Q, R, S and T should be equal to 360 degrees. So you can write this equation that P plus Q plus R plus S plus T is 360 degrees. Now, if we focus our attention back to the figure, we can actually mark up some of the other angles as equal to those exterior angles simply because they are opposite angles or, or vertically opposite angles. So when, you, when two straight lines intersect each other, then the angles, the opposite angles, sometimes they're called the vertically opposite angles, they should be equal. So that's a very fundamental theorem in Euclidean geometry. So let's mark up some of these vertically opposite angles in the figure. So we have there the two vertically opposite angles, each equal to P. Then we have these two vertically opposite angles, each equal to Q. Similarly, two vertically opposite angles equal to R, and the same for S and T. So now that we have finished marking up all the angles, we basically take the collective sum of the angles of the five triangles on the outside. And that collective sum would be basically A plus B plus C plus D plus E. And in that sum, each of those exterior angles will make, it, make its appearance twice. So we can write the collective sum 
of the angles of those five triangles on the outside as A plus B plus C plus D plus E plus two times B plus Q plus R plus S plus T. Now, we know that the sum of the angles of any one triangle is 180 degrees. So, the sum of angles of five triangles taken collectively will be 5 multiplied by 180 degrees. So, we can write this, that A plus B plus C plus D plus E. And notice that I have replaced P plus Q plus R plus S plus T by 360 degrees because that's the sum of the exterior angles of the pentagon. So, that should be equal to 360. So, on the left-hand side, I have A plus B plus C plus D plus E plus 2 times 360 degrees. And on the right-hand side, I have basically 5 times 180 degrees. So that's basically the collective sum of angles of 5 triangles, which should be basically equal to 5 times 180, right? And now it becomes a simple matter of evaluating what the sum A plus B plus C plus D plus E will be. So it's simply 900 degrees minus 1700 degrees, and that comes to 180 degrees. So the correct answer for this will be 180 degrees, or if you are expressing your answer in radians, it will be simply pi radians.